pretty cool, right? Um, this is great for, you could use it for an all over quilt design for the entire quilt top. You could use it for a border um, or just a filler if you have some blocks that you want to fill up and you're not quite sure what kind of quilting to do in them. This would be a great option for that. So um, let's go ahead and look at the actual template. So when you pull it out, it's uh, going to look a little cloudy. That means that it has a film on it that we're going to want to take off. Um, it has this film on it just to protect it for the shipping process. So in our packages, um, Dabline gives you this little plastic doohickey here. <laughs> and this is going to help you peel off the film from the template. So what we're going to do is it's the film is only on the top of the template, okay? So we're gonna take our little plastic thing and we're just gonna use the very edge of it and just jump gently rub it against the edge of the template. I'm trying it here right on this little corner and see if you can see that. I got it started just a little bit with the plastic coming off. Now I should be able to grab it with my nail and see that it just starts pulling off and it pulls off really easy. So, and then we have a nice, clear, beautiful template. So you can kind of see the, the difference between the two sides, but I'm gonna finish pulling that off. What's nice about this template too, is it has the actual pattern um, printed on it. So as you're quilting on your uh, on your quilt, you'll be able to line up these lines with the lines that you've already stitched to make sure that you're staying in a nice straight line. So what we want to do is I'm going to measure from the top of the bubbles to the bottom. And if I measure that, take my little measuring tool and if I measure that that is exactly four inches and one eighth so then I'm gonna come over to my little example quilt block that I'm gonna be quilting on and I am going to mark that on um, on my little example so that's gonna be some guidelines for when I'm actually quilting let me just get my straight edge here. I'll line that up. And grab my, I'm gonna use a Hira marker to make my creases. You can also use a pen that has um, washable or uh, ink that'll disappear after a while. Um, there are several on the market, but those will work really great for making these marks as well. So I'm just going to make my top line. And then I'm going to measure four inches and one eighth down from that line. So I've got one, two, three, four inches. And line up the eighth line with that. And then I'll just make another line. And there I have my lines marked. You can see the little crease that I will then line up those lines on the template with those lines. And then my little bubbles will be right in between those lines. It'll be nice and neat and beautiful. So now I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine. We're going to do some practice before we actually stitch into this little example block. What I'm going to need to to take over to my sewing machine is I'm going to need the template. I will need the the template holder, which is a little grip that helps hold on to the template as you move. 
got these nice little handles. And I will also take over my free motion quilting gloves. You can use these, you don't have to. It's really gonna depend on what works best for you, but they do come in with in the kit with the quilting templates. So these can be very handy. All right, let's head over to the sewing machine and get started. Okay, we are at my sewing machine. Now, before we start sewing, um, we're gonna wanna set up our sewing machine for free motion quilting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my uh, free motion quilting ruler foot onto my sewing machine. This ruler foot has a nice tall lip that will help us use these templates when we're quilting. So you're gonna wanna want, you're going to want to get one of these special feet for, that's specifically for use with rulers, okay? Uh, then we're gonna come over here and I have set my feed dogs down and I also set my stitch length to zero. You can see that. Um, and that's gonna help me control the movement and the speed of my stitches, okay? So now let's do some practice. Uh, I'm not even gonna turn my sewing machine on yet. We're just gonna practice the movements with the template and the grip with the fabric. So let's start. I'm gonna line up my lines that I had drawn before just so we can kind of get used to that feeling of needing to stay aligned with those lines. I'm gonna lower my foot. I'm gonna hold the grip firmly with both my hands on both the little handles. And then we're just gonna slowly move with the curves of the foot, keeping the foot pressed up against the template the entire time. And you don't wanna move the template on the fabric. You wanna keep the template stationary on the fabric and moving the entire piece all at once. Keep going nice and slow with nice smooth movements and then we'll stop. Then we're just gonna, we're gonna leave our foot there. Our needle will be done at this point. And then we're just gonna push the template over. Make sure those lines are lined up with the lines that we marked. And then we're just gonna start stitching again. Nice and slow, going up one side, keeping that template pushed up against the ruler the entire time. You definitely don't wanna do any herky-jerky movements, okay? Keep it nice and smooth, and you can go as slow as you want. You're controlling the speed of the template moving and the speed of your needle. Nice and slow. And then we're at the stopping point again, okay? So I would very much encourage you to do this as long as it takes for you to get used to that, the movement and being able to keep that template nice and stationary on the fabric while you're moving it. And then once you feel confident doing that, then you can go ahead and turn your sewing machine on and then we can start doing actual stitches. Um, I definitely recommend doing a little practice square like this. You could do one a little bit bigger if that's a little bit easier for you, but definitely you wanna do practice stitches before you actually start stitching the quilt that you spent hours and hours and hours on piecing together, okay? Because just in case you don't have the, move in, the movement down quite yet, you don't wanna have to get that seam ripper out and rip out all those seams. So practice is definitely better than just rushing into the, to the, into the actual project, okay? So let's go ahead and try some practice stitches. Okay, I have my template lined up here on my little practice square. I remember those lines that we marked that are four and one eighth inch apart. I've got my top line of the bubble 
lined up with the top one and the bottom line lined up with the bottom line that I had marked, okay? So now I'm going to start in the starting position. Get my needle in the needle down position. And now I am ready to quilt, okay? And I'm gonna take it nice and slow at first, just to show you. Remember to keep the template butt up right up against the foot at all times and take it nice and slow and smooth. beautiful are those curves let's do another one make sure those lines are lined up on the top and the bottom and here we go And there we have it. That's how we make the bubbles with the bubble template. Isn't that fun? <laughs>